It's a player that can play similar to, to David Silva, similar with all the respect, of course. Uh, oh, hi, Mauricio. Um, how's Hugo Lloris and will he be fit for Tuesday? Hope, yes. We are going to assess tomorrow. We have training session. Hope it's not a big issue. Um, I hope it's going to be available. And Musa Sissoko and also Harry Winks? Musa Sissoko, no. He's not going to be fit, I think, for the next maybe two weeks. Hope can recover it before, but I, I am not so optimistic. Um, and Harry Wick wins, um, you know, you don't know because it's a it's a a problem that one day is very good, one day is not so good. You know, it's about to to assess every day, and we we'll see. Maybe for Tuesday it can be available, but I'm not sure. You back in your new stadium. You've had three three wins from three there. Three of your last four games are there as well. well. Um, how much the lift has that given you playing there? Hope uh, keep going and in the same uh, getting the same result. Of course, it's going to be fantastic uh, and it's going to be very helpful for for us to play in in our stadium with our fans. Um, hope and wish to to keep the same result than previous matches. Okay, Jack down here. Hi, Mauricio. Um, do you and your team have a job to do now to stop the players from thinking about Ajax, which would be like the biggest game in Spurs have had? We are not thinking in, in Ajax, like uh, we showed today. We showed it today that we were thinking in, in today in, the, in that competition, the Premier League. Um, and now our, uh, our uh, energy is in Brighton. Uh, you know, I think it's so clear that we have... Uh, Two objectives. One is to be on the top four on the end of the season. Another is is try to beat uh, Ajax. But we need to go step by step. That is the most important. Do you have to tell the players that, or do they know it? No, they know. I think the the behaviour and the mentality is is perfect. You know that you know very well myself that if something wrong, I am start to see. I going to to tell uh, them. But I think uh, they were very professional today. The, the performance was was very good and was very professional. OK, Martin. Uh, Musio, this is not to do with the Brighton match, but as somebody who has brought through a lot of good young players in the last few years, can I just ask your opinion of Phil Foden today? Yes, he's a fantastic player. I think, um, yes, he's a very good player. It's not easy in a, in a team like Manchester City to appear, to play, to start the games. I think it's, uh, it's a massive achievement for, for him, but a massive achievement for Manchester City. I think watching him playing, you can, you can feel the, the quality that he has. What does he do in particular that impresses you? Him? Yeah, what, what does he do in particular? Well, I think the quality that he has, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a player that can play similar to, to David Silva, similar with all the respect, of course, uh, in the characteristic of can play the, like a number eight, uh, an interior that with a lot of quality playing in between the, la in the, the, the line, can score a right to the box, uh, good shoot from outside to the box. I think have the, the capacity to read games and to find the best space uh, to try to, to, to create problems to the opponent. I think he's a very clever uh, player, very good. I think he's a fantastic player. OK, two more starting here. Maurizio, is Tuesday a chance for Vincent Janssen to get some minutes under his belt? Maybe. I think today was for first time then on the bench. Um, he's part of the, the team. We'll see. Maybe he have a chance to, to play a little bit in the future.